everyone, it's the Outlaw, John Roker here with my uh, just out of the theater reaction for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Badness. Guys, I gotta tell you, you gotta be honest, I was disappointed by the movie, I really was. I saw some of my other colleagues saying that they were disappointed too, or they felt it was a mixed bag of a movie, and I have to agree with them. I felt that too. There are some good things here, Elizabeth Olsen is fantastic, Benedict Cumberbatch, Benedict Wong, all doing their things um, for sure, and there are some, some fun visuals and some great horror elements that occasionally pop up in the movie, but overall, I felt like it didn't pack any of the emotional wallop that I was hoping that it would pack with these characters and with the storylines we've developed in the MCU with these characters, especially with Wanda and Stephen Strange and what we saw in WandaVision and what we saw in Doctor Strange and in all the other movies that Doctor Strange was involved in. And the first 15 minutes teased something really, really great. And I think the rest of the film just falls uh, in, in its attempt to try to live up to what it presents in those first 15 to 20 minutes of the movie, unfortunately. Um, as I said, there are some good things, but overall, it just didn't work for me. And I think it, it reverted back to some of... Sam Raimi's tendencies. I know there are a lot of you guys who are huge Sam Raimi fans. I like Sam Raimi. I don't always love Sam Raimi. And the reason I don't always love him is because he gives you some fun visuals, but then there's no emotional depth, emotional nuance, complexity, some really strong foundational things to explore that challenge you as a viewer. So yes, you, those of you who enjoy Sam Raimi's horror stuff, you're probably going to like this movie or love this movie. Those of us who are looking for a little bit more, especially with everything that's been laid out in the MCU, I think we're going to walk away feeling disappointed by it. And certainly what they do with a certain character of color, who's one of the leads in the movie, and the, the insultingly thin backstory they give her was very frustrating for me as a Latino to watch, for sure. And there is an LGBTQ plus moment that they once again, once again, show but skirt right by quickly, which is so frustrating for sure. So those are my thoughts overall. There will be a non-spoiler review and a spoiler review on the Outlaw Nation channel. You know the Geek Buddy is going to talk about it for sure, so look for that coming from my channel very soon. All right, y'all take care of yourselves. Be well. Go see it this weekend. Make up your own mind, and we'll talk about it soon here on the Outlaw Nation channel. Take care.